Hey folks, welcome back to Warhammer Total War. Let's see what happened. Um, we've got Mercy Kilgore, who is trying to move down towards finishing corn off, I think. Now, let's... I, I think what we need to do is get him moving down this way while he's still, you know, replenishing his troops. And I think... Archeon, I don't know, like we've got this guy here, this Nurgle force, which should be enough, to, those two together should be enough to take on whatever Kislev throw at us. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Archeon back in Prague, and we're just going to spend a turn here, just kind of like replenishing our units. Now, let's just see what gifted units we've got available. We should have some blood letters, I think. No, I didn't take that, did I? I? When I looked at the Gifts of Chaos, I went for Violent Hunger. That was it. So, <clears throat> yeah, we're going to get uh, both of our smaller armies down, finish off Kislev. Then we've just got to take, but we've just got to destroy a bunch of settlements, basically. So um, we've got the Great Orthodoxy. We've also got Oslin in the Empire here. Uh, we've got Nordland. Now, if we just have a look over here, look, this is a Brass Keep. Now, this is uh, uh, Festus the Leech Lord. We could, right, what we could do is we could actually fight Festus and take his stuff. And then once we've taken his last, once we've taken his last settlement, we could actually end up uh, confederating him. Because it could be quite fun to confederate some of the other lords, you know, as Archeon. I think that's kind of what he's supposed to do. We are supposed to bring, you know, the end times around by getting everyone together. Uh, Egrim, what can we do with this dude? Let's send Egrim down here. Scout these ruins, actually. Okay, there's nothing here. I think, yeah, I think we've pretty much done everything we need to do with these guys. Um, I probably, we don't have much money. I'm going to, as soon as Archeon's kind of leveled up a little bit, or, sorry, rested up a little while, way, then we're going to get him back out raiding. Um, yeah, it looks like, it looks like help it. And Clan Mulder have taken quite a lot of stuff here. We should get Crackerjack. Problem is that, that Throg's got that. Um, just taking a look over this side. Uh, we we have got a problem brewing with Grimgore Ironhide. Okay, now Grimgore at any minute could just decide to attack us. He's he's the strongest faction in the game according to the the faction rankings. Look, uh, let's just go to let's just sort it by strength rank. Grimgore's old boys. Look, and then we got Nagaroth. Nagarond, and then we've got Sylvania, uh, then we've got the western provinces of Cathay, and then Reichland. So, yeah, I mean, our grief are doing really well. Are they doing better than Legions of Chaos? Yes, they are. So, um, this is another issue that we might have to deal with. We might have to go and deal with the Dark Elves in the north. Um, part of me thinks that we could try to send Archaon back to fight off the Dark Elves. The problem is, it's quite a long way. Um, we might be better off raising another army to do that job. But yeah, uh, Crystal Spires. Now this is close. This is the one. This is the f area that is closest, right, to uh, this potential problem. I think I've I've got a bad feeling that that Malice Darkblade is going to kill the uh, Demon Prince here. I do worry. So yeah, we've got to figure. out... Oh, we've also got control here. What's the control? Ah, okay, Zinch Corruption. That's why. think um yeah we probably need to get the control building up here so let's just we don't build anything this turn let's just sort that one out okay okay so we're into uh into Karoburg and Reichland and Reichland yeah I don't know it doesn't look like they've expanded too far Festus is, seems to append them in quite well Here's Thought the Unclean again. He wants a military alliance. Um, okay, he's at war with the Wargrove of Woe. That will put us at war with them. Uh, he's at war with the Ice Court and the Great Orthodoxy. And he's got defensive allies with us at the moment. I don't know if I want to fight Dreyker yet. Or do I? I think I want to finish Kislev first. He's going to give us a fair amount of cash for this though. I wonder if there's any way we can trade a settlement. No, 
now. He's not having that at all. At all. Yeah, I, do, I don't want to get into a war with Draco yet. Let's finish off Kislev first. The other thing is that Draco is another buffer against the Empire. And the Empire are going to have to fight against Draco before they get to us. Um, I've got to I've got to think about this war kind of carefully. Okay, uh, what do we want? Authority questioned. Unruly vassals have risen to question your might. Should you put on a demonstration of strength or challenge them directly? Uh, um, at mass executions or send in the enforcers? Control plus two faction wide might be good. Um, and leadership plus five. I do like the tribute from vassals as well. But I like the control. I think we probably need the control for now. Okay. Scourge of Cain have been defeated. Also, Warhood of the One Eye. Okay, so he's gone too. Kazrak. Um, we detect a void force belonging to Hagrief. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm starting to think that this is this is going to be a bit of a problem. I think Malice Darkblade's winning this battle, and I don't know if Daniel here is going to be able to deal with it. Uh, giant manacles. Okay, right. Corn authority plus one for all armies. Um, this would be good if we had. We don't have any chosen yet. Corn authority plus one for each active gift of corn. Yeah, I mean. This is for Dragon over Shargoth, so we don't need that yet. Dark Diplomacy might be okay. Let's go for Gaze of the Dark Gods. I think getting the Undivided Authority will just reduce our upkeep in general. Uh, let me just see what that's actually going to give us. Let's go back to Archeon. He's already at 10 out of 10. So, yeah. I mean, unless I'm going to get... I, I do want more... I do need more armies eventually. At the moment, we can't really afford them. What we've got to do is we've got to, we've got to just sort of pick some battles now where we can just kind of raid... We can take loads of favour and then we can upgrade all our buildings because we've been spending all our money on replenishing losses. This is because I'm not a very good player. <laughs> so it's kind of difficult. Um, we've got the Great Orthodoxy here, Kos Dalton. Looks like he's... Let me just see how strong he is. Okay, he's 95. Um, where is Throt? Clan Mulder is stronger than him. I th I, let's see. Let's see how Throt and let's see how Clan Mulder and uh, Costaltin do fighting one another. Uh, let's. Oh, have these guys got any? Oh, Fort Jacova have gone. Right, hang on a minute. Let's just check this situation here then. Kisova still uh, ice court still here somewhere. Oh, they've just got this. Look, they've just got that one boy. Oh, look. I think. Yeah, I think they're finished. Unless they've got more, more lands down here. Sylvania down here are doing really well. I think. Let's get let's get our hero just running down here to see what we've got. Now we've got a portal, one of the shadow rifts for Bellacor. Maybe if we do what I was planning and see if we can confederate Festus. Um, and we might go via, you know, this one, via here, via Castle von Rauken. Okay, uh, once we've got a little bit more cash, we could upgrade Prague. Now, having, pra I think pra having Prague is kind of, Prague or Brass Keep here would be, would, like, these are kind of the, I don't think there are many dark forces elsewhere in the world. It's kind of south of this. I don't think there are many. I think there might be one in Britannia. If I remember right. But I think... I, I, I don't remember now. There aren't that many down this way anyway. So... Yeah. I mean, we probably want to take that one off Festus. I think that's going to be a critical... It just depends on how big the Empire is. Should we have a little bit of a wander around? See, see if we can go to... Let's go and see what's happening in Reichland. Um, Altdorf is here. Oh, Aldorf is here, sorry. Of the faith. Or Karaburg. You are not welcome in my court, yet here mm. you are. 
friend or foe, we will see. He's fighting Carrick Ziffin, so he's fighting Dwarves, he's fighting um, Festus, Sylvania and the Barrow Legion. And he's he's got an, a defensive alliance with Corona Baston. Okay. All right. I think what we probably need to do is, by the way, make... There are trade goods that you can get from holding certain settlements. So you don't want to just basically, re you know, just... You don't want to just raise everything. There are certain settlements that are worth taking. For example, you saw me uh, with this one here. I have actually got some more trade goods as a result of this. How much are we actually making from trade, I wonder? Uh, 471. We don't have the biggest trade economy. Dominance. Come on, Nurgle. Um, I think... Yeah, we don't need to go down here anymore. I think, I think he's never done. Which means that... I don't think the Ice Court can come back from this. Uh, Dryker, I don't care about fighting. Maybe we start going this way then. And uh, the other thing is that we could potentially go and take Krakadrak from, from Norska. And move through Norska. And that way we can kind of keep an eye on what's going on here. That's one plan. That is one plan. Now I don't know how... Yeah, Norska's not very rich. I mean, we could raid our way through there. There's just not that much to take. Um... Yes, Clan Mulder have got that. Uh, maybe one more turn just to get these up. What we'll do is we'll move... We'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to raid my way through um, Throt's territory because I don't care. And then we'll we'll go and we can fight the Great Orthodoxy. We'll, we'll take out... We'll take out Kostaltin. And then we'll, we'll go into Northern... Uh, we'll go into... Nordland. Ostland, sorry, this is Nordland here, isn't it? Yeah, so we've got Ostland, Nordland, and then we've also got Festus. Yeah, confederating Festus might be good fun. So let's get these guys on Force March and we'll bring them. Okay, that's going to help bring up the uh, control in here. Okay, yeah, we want to keep up. We want to get our control up. Let the okay, Mercy Kilgore. Can we get up this way? I don't think we can get through there, can we? Is there anything to do down here? Oh, we could go and attack the Bone Rattlers, I guess. Just to go and... Uh, that's Azag the Slaughterer himself. I don't think we've got enough of a force to be able to kill Azag there. That looks like a fairly big armor he's got. Um, and yeah, I don't know how how fussed I am about attacking him yet. So I suppose we could we could have fight Dryker. Keeping all our armies together, you know, we don't like it would it is healthy for safety safety reasons. <laughs> healthy. It's advisable for safety reasons. They can you know obviously the armies can support one another. The problem is that then you're you're lessening. The amount of targets that you've got. Um, Rike is actually doing quite well. Yeah, let's get let's get Core moving back up here. Okay, he can move quite a long way. Look, okay, that's good. So yeah, we'll we'll have these guys moving up here. Now these were. Let's clear target. I don't need you to defend that anymore. I don't need you to defend that anymore either. We'll just clear those targets. Let's let those just do what they want to do. Um, I look forward to it. Okay. Looks like Slanash is just kind of hanging out there. Okay, Crystal Spires. Part of me is tempted to build a defensive building up here just in case uh, Daniel does lose his territory to Malice Darkblade. Yeah, let's kill Kostaltin quick. And I wonder I wonder if actually going up this way. See what we could do is we could fight we could fight Malice Darkblade. 
We could end our uh, non-aggression pack with these guys while we're doing it, and then once you know, we'll fight Malice Darkblade, take take his stuff. He's got a couple of these um, dark fortresses as well, and then we could head back towards uh, you know the Demon Prince, and we could go and f finish him. I don't know if we can con uh, confederate the Demon Prince, but if we could, that might be interesting. But that might be one way to approach this game from now on. Uh, the other thing, of course, is we, we can do our quest battles, and that might be a, now might be a good time to do that. He wants a military alliance now. That will put me at war with Nagarond. Um, and at the moment, I'm only at war with Hard Grief. Okay. Okay, that's uh, this is an interesting choice. What we could do is we could actually go and defeat Throg on the way up there. <laughs> like we could just leave we could leave the Empire and Festus fighting. Move up through Norska, take a bunch of Norskan, you know, because no we it helps us to take Norska anyway. Norska's re I mean you really want to kind of take Norska anyway if you've got the option. So that could be all, that could be one plan. Your eye opens. Okay, this is like helping chaos spawn. Right. Minus fifty percent cooldowns. Oh, we can get a dragon, a dragon over Shagoth. Ooh, or chaos, gifts of chaos activation cost minus seventy five percent. That's quite a good one too. Let's get the let's get the Shagoth. Okay, Sterling to join uh, the Empire. Kron's ready to go again. Uh, we don't. We, we can't keep another ar army up. Yeah. So that's one thing we could do, right? We could we could actually go through. Like we could go via Crackerjack, and we could fight Throg, and then on the on on the way up, we can actually go and like we can fight against Malice Darkblade because he's strong. He's a really strong faction, from what I can gather. So, um, but also part of me wants to go and take out like these guys here. We could probably send one army up this way. And this is a strong army. Almost got... Um, we're almost at the rank where we can get Chosen, Undivided Chosen. And I do want some Undivided Chosen, definitely. Get some more Chaos Spawn as well. <laughs> I do like the... Uh, I do like the Forsaken, though. <laughs> just like how they just kind of... Crazed, half mutated, monstrous chaos warriors who've just been completely wrecked by the uh, by the mutations. Yeah. The, okay. Let's go with raiding. Yeah. Should we raid through here? Hmm. Just making a plan. Now that I've seen, like, the empire has started to confederate stuff. And the Empire really, really gets mega strong. Like, really, really strong. And he's already doing... He's already getting quite strong. Um, so, we could... Tr I think if we leave Malice Darkblade, I think I'm going to regret it. I feel I get the feeling that I'm going to regret it. But also, let's just look at our uh, long-term victory conditions, right? Because they're still, they're still alive, by the way. The Ice Court's still alive. Where are their factions, then? They've only just got this this one character here. I don't see how they... I don't think they're going to be able to take anything here. So yeah, I think they're going to die. This guy's going to die. I think we can just leave that. Um, anyway, let's go back to our victory condition. So we need to... We just need to raise loot. Occupy, loot, raise or sack 35 different settlements. We've got 15, so we've got 20 more to do. I mean, we could just go and like, you know... Alright, we'll attack the Skaven. We'll attack the Ice Corp, blah, blah, blah. Now, I wish I, I accidentally got a non-aggression pack with this guy, and I probably shouldn't have done. I probably should have killed him. In fact, I might end the, that. I might end that non-aggression pack now. Don't know if we'll be. Uh, maybe we'll. Lover, fighter. It's a war with the Shadow Legion. Look. Submit to me. I have such wonderful plans. Uh, oh no, it's going to be an act of treachery, and we're, we're already we're quite reliable. Let's just leave it for a bit. I can always come back for him. He's not strong anyway. Like um, like really taking him would be good because we could actually get him then as a. I really I, re I made a bit of a mistake there. I actually thought I was 
getting a military alliance with Daniel or something. Don't know what I was thinking. It was just Ben being dumb. Let's uh, let's raid our way through here. I might send the right. I'm going to send Archeon up this way, and we're going to start fighting up. I'm going to, perhaps going to take Crackerjack from from the Norskins. I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to go and raid on the way now. Skaven ain't going to like that. Okay, let's level Prague up. That's definitely worth spending money on. And, yeah, we haven't got any units that we can take here. And we'll send the Cornate army and the Nurgle army over to go and fight. Maybe Kostaltin. Or perhaps we could get him to go via Zoyshenk. Um, we are in Dreyker's territory here. Dreyker's not going to like that. But I don't much care, and I, I don't think that Dreyker will attack me. Okay. This is Reichland. Let's just see what's up going up on around here. Yeah, look at this. Kundites are doing really well. There's Lorelor and the Wood Elves as well. Uh, yeah, sorry. I wanted to have a look at the long campaign victory. So, long campaign victory need to destroy or occupy, loot, raise, or sack 80 different settlements. And then you've got to control at least 13 of these settlements here. Now, uh, th either through direct ownership or through Vassal's military allies. So, we've already got Carrick Dum, uh, Carrick Flag, Prague, the Crystal Spires, and the Howling Citadel, and the Riding Fortress. Uh, Tower of Crack we need to grab. So that would we'd have to go to war with our ally there, uh, with our non-aggression pact, with uh, Azazel there, Black Fortress, Brass Keep. We can do this. Right? This is this is possible. It's a long campaign though, and I don't know if I'm going to play for that long. We'll see. We'll see. Let's get Egrim moving up this way. What do we got here? Okay, we've got Ostland. I think Festus is doing pretty good. Let, what we could do is we could get a non-aggression pack with Festus now. That will f make him feel a bit care like, you know, he won't have to defend against us. We can always break it later by, you know, or end it later if we do want to go if we do want to confederate him later. Um, but that will free that will free him up to basically fight against the empire. Um what will he give us for this? Yeah, money. All right. I'm going to do that, right? So him and Azazel, we're just going to be kind of friendly, pally pally with. Uh, then we'll, we're going to move up this way, and then I think I'm going to try to save, try to save Daniel from, uh, from Malice Darkblade. And then what I'll do is, I don't know if I can confederate that guy. I'm going to Google it, and if I can, then I will. I'll, I'll perhaps try and confederate him and have him as a Demons of Chaos army. I don't think he can. I think he's, it'll be a vassal, if anything. And a vassal, that kind of works into our plans anyway. Whoops. Yeah, let's just leave the Crystal Spires there. All right. Now... <clears throat> Neither of these two forces that I'm sending down in to attack the Empire are particularly strong individually, so they're going to have to work together. Uh, he wants military access. Um, yeah, you pay us, I'll do it. As long as nobody takes one of my Dark Fortresses, basically, I don't mind. Um, I'm not bothered if... He wants to go through and just sort of like rampage amongst the Norskins, you know, my allies. I don't really care about that. <clears throat> okay, the Ice Court's gone. Our grief has uh, got another Black Ark. Yeah, this is what I mean. Those are starting to get strong. Ursula of the Oblast. That's her, Frost Maiden. So we've got to go and assassinate her. Can we do that now? Oh, we've got the Knights of Immolation, which are Doom Knights of Zinch. Oh, let me think about this. Uh, where is our hero? We had a hero around here, right? Here he is. Let's see if we can get her, get that mission on. Um, her. Hold on a minute, what was that? Chances. 
Not very high, uh, but it's worth a try. Worth a try. Lord of Rage. Castle von Ralken doesn't look like it's very strong. So let's get these. I'm going to raid. Raid in time. Dryker ain't going to like it, but I don't care. The thing about Dryker is I don't like her. Archeons leveled up. Um, what do we got? Earthing magical reserves. Arcane conduit is good. Gives you much faster power recharge. Transmutation of lead. That's pretty good. You know, remove, uh, reducing base weapon damage and melee attacks pretty good. Purple sun's also pretty good. Although we've already got burning head, so. Things about pur Burning Head goes in one direction. Purple Sun kind of just moves around in a blob. Uh, so it's kind of more like... It's more like Searing Doom. Now, what, we're about halfway through his tree, right? I think we're going to go with the... Uh, with the ex We'll go with this one here, the Hammer into the Anvil. So more melee defense for cavalry and more charge bonus for cavalry. Because I like cavalry. I like cavalry lots. Let's go for Zoyshenk. I think I'll see if I can take this on. Yeah, let's go and kill. Let's go and help out. What can we get from Zoyshenk? I wonder. I don't know. I won't know until I take it. I don't think. I don't think there's any way of knowing what kind of stuff they've got there. Uh, it could be. It might be wise to take this and then give it to. We could give it to like help it. Uh, you know, to. Yeah, this guy, Clamolder. I gotta say, right, the voice actor who does this voice is so good. <laughs> He's so good, man. Oh, we can get a trade agreement with them. All right, let's see if he'll do that. Big payment as well. He's doing well. Uh, let's propose that offer. Our military alliance could be useful as well. Who's he fighting? He's fighting Dryker, though, so we'll end up fighting Dryker, which I don't really want. Um, he's also fighting the Great Orthodoxy. Yeah, I, d I don't want to be joined into a war with Dreyker yet. I think Dreyker's kind of will provide a bit of a buffer against both the Empire and and the Sil uh, Sylvania as well. The Sylvania are down here. Oh, sorry, the yeah Sylvania. So vampire counts who are usually really really strong in this game. Okay, Rel is mo is. Kind of close to Midland. Oh, that's a Dark Fortress as well. So there, there are two Dark Fortresses here. I didn't know Middenheim was a Dark Fortress too. That's interesting. I don't think there's one up here, is there? No, there's just... Uh, this is the Wood Elves, Laurelon Forest. Uh, Carrick Flag. Have we got anything else that we can upgrade? This one here. Okay, can we get more favour here? Howling Citadel. Um... Now, the Howling Citadel might be... Oh no, it's Crystal Spires, sorry, it's this one here. That I was tempted to get um, a Haunted Tower, so... More garrison, basically. Control's pretty low here. Let's get the control building. I think we actually need that. Um, otherwise, we're going to have to garrison a force there. Yeah, I, I think I'm making the right choice going and helping Daniel here against... Uh, what I might do is... I'll take on Mal I Once I actually get to that Malice Darkblade, I'm going to... I don't know. Maybe I end the non-aggression pack with Daniel. Then we'll fight Malice. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Let's see what happens in the next turn. We can't fight everybody, but if we've you know, if we got a decent enough income, which means I've got to ra do a load of raiding, do a load of fighting... Uh, get lots of favor with the Chaos Gods so we can actually build up the... the f oh, here we go. Oh, he wants a non-aggression pact. Yes. Let's see what he'll give us for it. Okay, he'll give us some money as well. Okay, Grimgore having a non-aggression pact with us is a big weight off my mind because he's super strong. I mean, he's the strongest faction in the game, I reckon. So, yeah, that means that we are free to kind of 
we're probably free to not worry so much about the east then. At least for now. He might break it. Like, um, the, the green skins do not keep agreements. <laughs> but it's better than nothing. Yeah, let's just go and take Zoyshenk. Okay, we're going to declare war on these guys. Uh, do I want to bring all these lot in? I mean, yeah, why not? Yeah, they've all they've all done. Okay, one of them one of them refused. Okay, let's just uh, auto this one. This is just a little battle. It's not going to be much. I think I'll even lose a single troop. What a razor standard! Not bad. By the way, I do need to go through my magic items. This is something I often forget in this game. Probably should go through my magic items and ancillaries, um, and just figure out what's going on. Let's just occupy this because let's just see what we can actually get in Zoyshenk here. Okay, yeah, so we did get a magic item. Um, wait, what does Zoyshenk give us? Yeah, just warband camp. Magic power reserves in the area. Warband um, upgrade cost minus 20. Souls gain from battles minus 20. Um, yeah, I mean the soul ga souls gains in battles minus fifteen percent might be worth the favor spent on it. Um, we also do need to get some favor though. The other thing that we can do, of course, yeah, I'll give some more casualty replenishment rate. Um, I might, I could just, I could eventually gift this to someone, you know. Let's just look at our magic items, like I said I was going to do. So, we've probably got a whole load of stuff. Alright. Uh, Mercy Kilgore. Let's look at Prince Ograx first. We've also got the... I've got to remember about the quest battles too. So, Prince Ograx can't do much. Uh, uh, Hivald van de Mortem. This is the uh, Nurgle guy. He could take a Sword of Strife. As could the Chaos Lord of Corn. Yeah, I think I'm going to give him the Sword of Strife here, so it's going to upgrade his melee attack. Melee attack and weapon strength. We've got Rel here. He's already got a Forbidden Rod. I suppose we could give that one to him. Okay. Uh, that's about it. What about ancillaries? Yeah, we haven't got that many. You seem to get a lot less of these in this game. Than you did previously, which I'm not really arguing. I'm not going to complain about. We've got Costalt in here. Look, I'm just wondering if any of these are worth it. Yeah, this is a defensive building, isn't it? I'm not really that bothered about that. Warband upgrade costs minus twenty four units. That might be worth doing, and then we could we could probably I reckon some of these yeah we can get chosen now for example. So let's build that up this turn. And we'll always hand we can always hand that over to Kislev next time. Uh, sorry to Throt. Let's get these guys moving in here. Now oh, we need to be a little bit careful. Oh no, we don't attack Gorich. It's her that we need to get, isn't it? Failure. My magic is yours. Let's level up Wound so we can try that next turn. Okay, uh, Castle von Ralken. Let's just go and raise this. Yeah, let's get these. Have we got any gifted units? No. Regiments are renowned? No. We've got pretty much everything that we need. So yeah, let's just move these guys in. Let's attack with the noble force. Okay, we're just going to declare war on Nordland too. Oslin's are joining in too. Uh, okay, we're just going to we, we'll uh, auto resolve this one. There's not going to be much much to watch there. We've got a look stone, not bad. And I think what we do is we probably the unit experience is pretty important. I think I'm going to sack it and get the get the favor here. 
And Hivold von de Mortem got a um, physical resistance thing. And there's a terrifying mask of E. That's pretty good too. Okay, and now we can devote him to Nurgle. Okay, had we not already got him devoted to Nurgle? No. So there we are. I, okay, this time we are going to go Law of Nurgle. Hang on, is that right? I'm sure we don't, we don't get any Nurgle guys, no. So there we are. Glory and slaughter. I there we go, right. Okay, so what can we get? We want to get Mo Root Marcher. And I think we want... Miasma Pestilence, yeah. Having his having his spells is pretty powerful. But I, w I also want this to Dominating Presence. This guy will level up. Uh, we've got we've got a force from Osland here. He's also leveled up. Uh, let's get the armor for the demonic units because we're going to try and go further into the blood letters, I think. So these guys together. Yeah, okay. Have them just like that. We'll just occupy this one. Okay. Um, could abandon the settlement. We could give it. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll gift it. I'll gift it to someone. Yeah, I won't. I, I don't care about the. Um, yeah, this is full of Nurgle corruption as well. So I think we'll leave that for Festus. Okay. It's Rel. Let's do steel technology. Okay, success. Excellent. All right, I want to get that again. Because that's quite good. That's glory unlocked. Devote to Slanesh and Zinch. Yes, this is Lord of, this guy's a law of metal. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not bothered about Oslin. Let's just leave that. And then the turn. By the way, we're going to lose our <clears throat> gifts of chaos. Oof. Close defeat. <clears throat> Lots of war bear riders, that's why. I think I can win this. I've got enough units that I could think I can win this. Might be hard, but let's try it. <clears throat> let's try it. And let's hope we win, because if we don't, then that's going to be another battle that I've lost and lost another two armies. <laughs> I didn't want to run away here. I think we should be, try and beat Kostaltin. I think we can do it. He's got some really good units, and we are low-level units here. Uh, but again... We have got a few aces up our sleeve, like we've got Bilius Thunderguts or whatever he's called. Thunderguff, um, which we can probably help use to help kill Kostaltin. Uh We've got a Wyvern. They've got a lot of Bear Riders, though. And we got haven't really got any anti-large. So that's a problem. I think what we, do, we need to do, we do need to wait for our reinforcements to come in. Um... Yeah, how are we going to do this, I wonder? Team of Spew on that side, more of the Nurgle. Got a uh, Feral Man's Call. Uh, we want Billy Thunderguts in the middle. Okay, here they are. Let's try and get our guys moving. Are oh, they going to come into us? Look, so let's let them come to us. I might even move back a little bit. Let's move back a little bit. So we'll lure those guys in, and then we'll come at them from behind. Yeah, they've got a lot of strong units. I got to say. So this, it, they're saying that we, uh, the, the game say we're saying we're going to get defeated here. I'm hoping not. Okay, we've got this. This will stop us getting flanked so easily here. So, this might be a good place to hold the line. We just gotta. This, what we gotta do is we gotta figure out a way. Right, let's get these guys around here. No, around this way. 
so we can get around something around the back for a rear charge. And let's just make sure that we've got... No, I did that just for the long second, didn't I? Oh, damn it. Right, let me just press pause a sec. Sorry, guys. Apologies for swearing. Let's uh, let's get those guys in one group. Let's get those guys in another. I'll figure out better groups in a minute. Uh, this is all of Korn's army now coming in. So we need to come in behind them, I think. We got our... Nurgle should be able to hold long enough to be able to get behind them here, I think. But let's try and just get them in like this. And we, yeah, they're going to start shooting us. We need to close, I think. So let's close. Now, what do we got? We've got Armored Cossars and Streltsy on one side. Uh, let's get these let's get these dogs kind of around the back. Right, Marauders and Nurgle want to go for the Arm Armored Cossars. We could send the Chaos Trolls at the uh, Streltsy. I don't know if they'll make it. Marauders of Nurgle also want to go for these. Send those that way. Those guys that way. See if we can get around their flank. Um... Now, the demon spew really want to get around the edge. The problem is we've got this... This is the problem. We've got these war bears, And the war bears are really, really dangerous. Okay. Uh, Marauders of Nurgle. Let's just move these guys up. Wow. They're going to be fighting against a uh, regiment of renown. Zargard. I'm going to try and get Bilius Thunderguff going in towards uh, their, their commander. Yeah, we can probably cast this uh, Miasma of Pestilence on these war bears when they come in. Yeah, maybe we get the get this thing going around the outside. And the rest just kind of moving in. This is going to be a hard battle, guys. I, I, it's possible I might lose this. It's quite likely I might lose. <laughs> Mortar Horseman and Nurgle. Let's get those guys going on these war bear riders. I think I'm actually going to ca cast this spell here on these now. We'll just uh, send these warhounds in against these war bear riders after this. Po okay, we might be able to kill these. Let's let's see if we can kill these quick. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of war bears. Right, let's get these dogs going after those war bears. Okay, that did that did okay. Look, we've dam done a lot of damage to those war bears already. Uh, now we've got this. Yeah, this line, this flank is probably going to get a little bit overloaded. Right, we, uh, the giant is fighting Costaltin. Let's also send this guy in. And let's see if we can do some damage. What have we got here? Costrobite Dervishes. No, that's not worth using Winds of Magic on. Oh, the giant's taking a lot of damage. Oh, no. Damn you. Right. Let's go and take these Streltsies out. I think Billy's Thunderguff is going to go down here. I'm afraid. Let's see if we can hit these guys with one of these. Come on, in you go. Okay, uh, what we got? Yeah, they definitely want to go around this side. Okay, those war bear riders are dying, which is excellent. Let's try and get these in now here. Uh, we've got these hearth guards. Yeah, I, need, I definitely need to take these armored cossars out, though. Um, yeah, we definitely want the marauders and Nurgle moving in, too. Okay, come on, guys. We can do it. We got... Okay, blood for the blood god. Get in there. Right. Chaos Lord, go and kill Costaltin, because he's so strong, and we need to get him out. Like, he's just... He just does not go down. Okay, let's get these Marauders Horsemen out. Come on. What are you doing up there? Just... Ugh, get down here. God damn you. Again, apologies for the cursing, guys. I don't normally curse when I'm playing games. You can tell that it's uh, it's obviously a big thing for me. Uh, Costaltin's going to die, but my Sorcerer Lord's almost dead as well. Man, my Sorcerer Lord is running already, which is very upsetting. Okay, the Manticore's going to charge into these bears. Probably try and get him into the back of these Cossars now. Okay, let's get these guys... Oof. I don't know how well I'm doing. Problem is, oh, I've got a lot of blood letters. Now, the blood letters will do well. The blood letters will do really well, so. And I like using blood letters. Yes, yeah, these units down on this side. Yeah. 
Okay, I think we're doing okay. Uh, this side is looking a bit shaky. We've got these war bears kind of running around. Let's get this sorcerer lord. Let's hit these war bears here with this spell. Miasma pestilence. And um, we'll get the stream of corruption out as well on. Let's see if we can hit those. I hope those troops are. I think they've dodged it. All right, in that case, don't do it. Okay, Billius Thunderguts is going in. Um, have we killed Costalti? I think we have. Okay. The oh, Raw Bear Riders are fighting up here, look. I think we've got this. It's just a matter of... Yeah, we need to put, get him Sorcerer Lord in this way. I think my troops are just standing around now, just not doing much. So let's kind of get these guys... Get them, get them guys in. It's just the war bears. The war bears are the problem. Wow. Come on, gentlemen. Okay, let's get Billy Thunderguff up this way. He's actually got an ability you can use. In fact, let's get him in here and we'll use this. leader in. Come on. No. There we are. All right. Come on. Yeah, we are winning. We're going to win this, but it's just um, now it's a matter of how many casualties we get. I don't want to lose too many troops either. Uh, there's a lot of units just sitting around doing nothing. Yeah, there's a whole lot of units just sitting around doing nothing. Come on, guys, get in there. Let's, maybe we'll take these war bear riders out. Come on, marauders of the corn, let me do it. Come on, don't just stand there and let the enemy shoot you. That's kind of frustrating. In you go. Earn your pay. Okay. Billy's Thunderguff might go down, so let's just see if we can try and hit these guys come on okay they're dying now okay right they've got their kids level ability gone off you know for the motherland whatever it's called it's going off let's get these guys coming in come on in you go i think we've done it just don't hopefully we just don't lose any of our big units now i think that's about it Okay, let's just see Zargard here that are not going down easy. Let's just get this Chaos Sorcerer Lord out. Ooh. Charge those war bears with these uh, Marauder Horsemen. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, all right. Awesome. Oh. Wow. That's another one I'm going to save. Um, I'm going to call it Corn and Nurgle. Okay. Sometimes I like to save my game save so I can watch them later. Sorry, my replay so I can watch them later. Because I love watching the replays in this game, man. It's just so much fun. So, Pyrrhic victory. We did lose quite a lot of troops. Uh, you know, we lost the lion's share of the Nurgleite troops. Don't think we lost a unit, though. Uh, we might have lost the demon spew there, but we'll see. Um, Costaltin is dead, though. So, Herald von de Mortem is going to get Costaltin's... Um, defeat trait and I forget what that one is now in fact forget, uh, it's not a matter of forgetting I just don't know what it is I think it's probably a more honest way of saying it and I think I'm going to end the episode there as well guys because we have hit 50 minutes and it's probably a little bit long yeah the, uh, I might have if I'd have got the chaos, uh, the corns units in a bit quicker and sort of managed them a little bit better, I probably would have lost a lot less troops. But that was a that was quite a tough army to beat. Now, yeah, I'm going to go for the souls here. We need the souls. Yeah, we've got this other army as well. Uh, they might come in as well. 
Malus Darkblade wants a peace treaty. I think not. I think not. I think he needs to think that I'm still coming for him. Now, I'm, w I'm worried about these guys here, this big army here. They might move in and attack us. And that could be difficult for us to deal with. Kolek wants a defensive alliance. Okay. See if we can get more money out of him. Yeah, okay. So we got a bit more favour out of that deal. Vestus. He wants a military alliance as well. Um, yeah, I guess so. I guess so, yeah, because that will free me to go and finish uh, to defeat Malus up north. That's a long way to go, isn't it? But I, I think Festus is pretty strong. Again, let's see if we can get more out of him. Okay, I forgot to try. <laughs> I can tell I'm getting a little bit tired. I've been playing this all night now. Wolfric! He wants a non-aggression pact as well. Um, No, you've got Dark Fortresses, mate. He's fighting the Shadow Legion as well. Winter Tooth. No, I don't want to know the aggression pack with Wolfric. I could actually go and grab those Dark Fortresses on the way up. Uh, I can grab them. Whether I can hold on to them, though, is a different matter. Goromadmi wants, Goromadmi wants a trade agreement. Again, let's just see if we can get a better payment out of them. Yeah, we got a better payment. They're actually quite strong now, the Goromadmi tribe. Okay, Rago Blood Reaper. Uh, we can get more allegiance and bonus experience for him, or we can get an obsidian amulet. Amulet. Yeah, let's just do that. I'm not bothered about the amulet. Okay, so Hivald von de Mortem got flaming attacks and leadership plus six when in own territory. Okay, not bad. And um, we gained a sword of battle, which he got. And Mercy Kilgore got uh, the rampage is standard. And he got a, he leveled up so that he can get a chaos steed. All right, folks, I'm going to end this there. So I hope you're enjoying the series still. And yeah, we're kind of closing in on victory. Take it easy.